ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the afternoon weather extreme video from ABC 3340 for Friday afternoon, the 18th of January. This is James Spann. A winter storm bearing down on Alabama. Everybody talking about the weather, and we'll talk about it too. Let's go to some Skycam images. And certainly this network is going to be awfully handy over the next 36 hours. There's a look at our Gulf Shores camera, and the clouds are thickening up on the Gulf Coast. They're going to get a good rain down there from this thing. That's the uh, camera on top of the Phoenix All Suites at the uh, T intersection in Gulf Shores looking back to the west. Uh, the Birmingham camera, the sky becoming mostly cloudy. Had some nice sunshine this morning, but the clouds are rolling in as we speak. And I wonder what that picture right there will look like comes Saturday evening. That's our Mount Sheha sky cam. Uh, you're looking at the lodge of Sheha State Park. The camera's on top of the restaurant right across the street. Now remember, they were snow covered up until this morning from the event day before yesterday, and they could get a lot of snow up there. This is the water vapor satellite imagery, and you can clearly see what's happening. We've got our cold air delivery system in place, the big ridge pumped up over British Columbia and the Gulf of Alaska. That'll drop some very cold air down for the weekend. And the storm, it's developing. You can see the upper trough south of El Paso, surface low developing in the western Gulf, and everything is still on track for what should be a significant winter storm for the deep south. And again, just a quick look at what we expect. Uh, expecting for the Birmingham Metro, the Interstate 2059 corridor, 1 to 3 inches. Heaviest snow should be down south. How about that? Uh, places like, well, our, our line we've drawn for two days now, we stay right with it. We think that's right on the money. Livingston to Clanton to Roanoke, the axis of the heaviest snow, uh, three to six inches possible there. And by golly, I think Montgomery could get a few inches here. In fact, there's some model data that suggests Montgomery might get more than what we've got indicated there, but we'll leave it at that for now because the depth of the cold air is in question. There's the Jackson, Mississippi radar, and by golly, this stuff is coming on in here. The mistake the models had a couple of days ago, they were too slow with the system. We wonder if they might be too slow with this one. Already echoes are on radar over north and western Mississippi. So uh, we'll watch this stuff coming on in here, but that wintry mix could begin uh, tonight around midnight, although we think most of the snow will be tomorrow. Winter storm watch up for most of uh, north central Alabama, all of the counties that are highlighted in white. Winter storm watch is also up for uh, North Carolina, southeastern Virginia, and I'm sure the Weather Service offices locally will fill in the missing gap there from Alabama on up to North Carolina uh, within the next couple of hours as they will be impacted by this thing as well. And uh, hats off to Birmingham for getting on this thing early. They put the winter storm watch up this morning before anybody else. Good job for those guys. Uh, cold air, no problem there. Uh, temperatures 10 below up on the Canadian border at midday. It's going to be a very, very cold weekend. But let's jump right into it. We'll go through model data. We'll first off look at the NAM, North American Mesoscale model, valid at midnight tonight. And again, that zero-degree blue line, that is the freeze line. Zero Celsius or 32 Fahrenheit, about 5,000 feet off the ground, can be a pretty good rain-snow indicator. Uh, and you can see the NAM really keeps all the precipitation way back to the west, but it just might be slow. Keep that in mind. We'll take a look at Saturday morning off the NAM, 6 o'clock. The uh, rain-snow line really below Montgomery. And here comes the really good moisture. And at noon, we've got just a really good setup for a central Alabama snow. Right there where that blue line is or just north of that, that's our axis right there. We're, we're talking... Uh, you know, Livingston to Clanton to Roanoke. And we've got three to six inches, and my, my fear, there might be local amounts above that based on some of the liquid equivalent numbers we're seeing coming off this model run. But also notice how there's a very sharp cutoff up there just north of Birmingham. I mean, nothing for the Tennessee Valley. And then 6 o'clock Saturday evening, some of it begins to back up in the northeast Alabama as the surface low develops on the coast over there off the Atlantic coast. And that looks awfully snowy for Atlanta. I mean, I don't see how they can't get away with a winter storm watch for Atlanta with this thing. Okay, that's the NAM. We'll take a look at the GFS. This is midnight tonight. I think the GFS timing is better. It's got already some precipitation in here tonight, and I think that's right. 
Uh, the freeze line, or the zero-degree line at 8.50, or the approximate rain-snow line near Birmingham. Tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock, that thing drops all the way down to Montgomery. And again, that central Alabama area just seems so favored for a really good snow here. At 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, this is noon. On Saturday, the rain-snow line still south of Montgomery. And the GFS gives the Tennessee Valley a little hope for some snowflakes up there, as opposed to the NAM that cuts it off so sharply. And then Saturday at 6 o'clock, the whole thing winding down, that minus 10 line coming down the pike, minus 10 Celsius at 8.50. Very, very cold. And then Sunday, the surf is high right over us. And now where the snow is on the ground, we, I bet you we'll see some single-digit lows. In fact, I know we will. Uh, where there's no snow, we're talking teens. And a quick peek at next week. There's Monday. We stay dry. Tuesday, here comes this next wave with rain. Wednesday, that wave is on by. Thursday, another one comes in here, and again, with a very cold high sitting over Des Moines, you wonder if there might be some ice in the northern periphery of that. Makes you wonder. And a quick peek in uh, voodoo country. This is the 30th of January. Big trough passing north of us. That looks wet. And at the end of the cycle, on the uh, fifth day of February, split flow. Let's all say it together. Split flow. Uh, big southern uh, trough down there, and again, this is pure voodoo out here. I, we, we just peek. That's all we do. We peek at it. Obviously, our attention is on short-term issues today. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, alabamawx.com, if you're watching this via iTunes or YouTube. And uh, Brian Peters will have the updates here over the weekend as we can produce them. Have a lot of things to do on the television side and the live stream side, but we'll try and crank out the videos tomorrow and Sunday as well. My next extreme video will be posted by Monday morning at 7. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful weekend, and God bless.